we go into uh, the last mile of this 10,000 metres. Well, Chalimo looked back at Izagama in third place and he said, not for me today, but these are the two leaders. Moses Tanui, 57-47 in April this year. He's based in Italy. Looks back now and sees Gebra Celesi on his inside. Is about to overlap number 17, Quintanala of Mexico. Tanui looks again. Gebra Celesi. Well, he left it late against Karui, but he's not leaving it late here as he just sits and sits and sits. Well, Tanui doesn't really want to lead, but he knows no other way because Gebra Celesi doesn't want it either. As we come into the straight, Gebra Celesi looks up once again into the scoreboard. He can see where the rest of the field is. He knows there's nobody in contention for the gold medal except himself and this man Tanui out in front. Tanui looks tired but you can never underestimate the Kenyans because they can put in a surge when you don't least expect it. But Tanui probably the least favourite of the Kenyans although the former world record holder. Chalimo going past now, now Franca and Izagama and Panetta. They're fourth, fifth and sixth position. Panetta hanging on grimly. Franca the big hope for the Germans. Two and a half laps to go as Panetta goes past. Second in Rome in 1987. Back to the leaders. Tanui, world champion. Eight in the Olympics in 88. Second in the Commonwealth Games in 90. Last kilometre, 248. And Gebra Selesi, the 20-year-old Ethiopian. At this stage, you would have to feel sorry for Tanui. Looks back. They all look back to see where the rest of the field is. They're nowhere in sight. They're good 70 metres behind. It's up to these two now. Can the golden brave boy from the front hold on? Well, you would have to say he can't. Gabra Celesi looks so supreme, so cool and behind. He's just jogging. Really looks just a matter of when. Now, Sotomayor has put the bar to 2.46 in the high jump. He's going to attempt the world record. 69.48 that lap. They're slowed. Chalimo's in third place. And there's the group, fourth and fifth behind. The director... Basotta with Franca at the moment. Hopefully nothing happens at the front. As he goes back to 4-5-6, still Gebra Celesi sitting on Tanui. I'll let you know what's happening in the front as we look at the uh, fourth and fifth men. Tanui leads in the back straight. Gebra Celesi, well, he's just sitting and waiting. And you think on cue, he'll go away from Tanui and stretch away for a gold medal. Yifta won for Ethiopia in Moscow in 1980. You can see with Gabriel Celesi, his arms held high. He's not tired at all. You notice in the 10,000 metres when the arms start to come down, that's when you start to get tired. But this boy looks so easy. Pass. There's the world's best athletes here. They go around them. Coming up into the straight. They look up at the scoreboard. Gabriel Celesi looks. Tanui looks. He looks tired, Tanui. Can he muster another bit? You have to say that Gabriel Celesi will go at probably 400 to go, or will he leave it to 300? He can win it anyway. I'd be very surprised if Tainui can pick it up from here. One Ant lap to go. Antibo about to be lapped. They've slowed 69. Well, look at Tanui. Gabriel Celesi stepped on his shoe, and Tanui in protest looked back at him and kicked his shoe off. No love lost here. Tanui goes for home. Gabriel Celesi's got to chase him. Tanui's got six metres on Gebra Celesi. Well, Gebra Celesi has really stunned Tanui, and the world champion's gone for it. I still think Gebra Celesi will get him. Tanui's after him. You really want to be with the Kenyan. He's done the work. He's still six metres in front. Well, I don't know if Gebra Celesi could possibly get him now. The gap's widening. The young Kenyan's starting to tie. He's starting to tie up. Now, Gebra Celesi coming. Tanui's four metres in front. Gebra Celesi's coming at him. There's 50 metres to go. Gebra Celesi comes up alongside Tanui. He is going to take him. Gebra Celesi goes past, and he's going to get the gold medal. Tanui on one shoe second, and Chalimo will get third. Look at Tanui. He is so angry. Here's Chalimo coming home for third. The last lap was 55 seconds. He did get him in the end. Tanui, look at this. He won't shake his hand. He wants nothing of it. Well, Franca gets four. We've seen some high drama in this stadium over the last week and a half.